Finally, let's talk about some tips and tricks for your 3D modeling workspace. Again, these are going to be very, very quick and easy, but you can apply them to every single model and assembly. Number seven is all about increasing the organizations of your assemblies. Now, a really common mistake that we see our students running into all the time, anytime they're working on their first assembly projects, is that whenever they make a brand new component for a brand new part, they will be making one inside another. So they're constantly making sub-assemblies inside of sub-assemblies inside of sub-assemblies, and the entire thing gets way too complicated way too quickly. Here's a really good example of what can go wrong. Let's say you're working on an assembly project and you've just finished your second to last component and you're about to start your final parts to this project. Now, normally this means you would go into your assemble menu and click on new components. But as soon as you do this and click okay, you can now see that this component that you just want to make is now inside the previous components. And it's on a completely different level to all of the other components above. As some of you may know, the reason that this happened is because you made a new component while your previous component was already activated. And what you should have done is activated your assembly file and then made a new component. But as you can imagine, this is a problem that happens all the time and can get very confusing very quickly. But I do have a fix. As soon as you finished with this second to last component and you already know that it's activated, you don't need to go ahead and activate the assembly file. You can just go ahead and right click it and say, I would like to make a new component. And it is automatically going to be set the exact same level as all of your other components. If you say again, I want to make this a sub assembly and make a new component inside of that, you can perform the same operation. We can say, this is the assembly file that I want to have all of my components inside. So you right click it and say, I want to make a new component, click okay. And this is now going to be making this secondary component inside of the one we just made.